So let me start the opening ceremony. Um, my name is Dawid Partyka, and together with Professor Mariusz Zubert, we are the chairman of the Hypercomplex Seminar 2021. We are very pleased to welcome all the participants. This is the 20th issue of the series of conferences initiated by an outstanding Polish scientist, Julian Wawrinowicz, very active mathematician and physicist. He proposed a wide scope conference format where mathematicians, physicists, and engineers could freely interchange ideas and concepts of their common interest. After one year break caused by the death of Professor Wawrinowicz, we, we reactivate the conference in this fashion. Which gives, us, which gives us an opportunity to memorize him. Therefore, the scope of the conference is divided into four general section, sections. Section A, mathematics. Section B, physics and statistics. Section C, informatics. And the last section D, classical and quantum electronics. We have done our best to split each section into reasonable sessions. Mm. Two se uh, each two consecutive sessions are separated by half our break. I hope that the resulting program meets more or less the expectation of the speakers and listeners. It was a quite difficult job because of great number of speakers which exceeded our expectations. The organizing committee counts five persons. I'm very grateful to Dr. Mogorzata Nowak Kempczyk for all email correspondence. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Mariusz Zubert and Dr. Krzysztof Pomorski for arranging sections B, C, and D. In particular, Professor Zubert have constructed the conference web page and he still manages it. Dr. Pomowski personally invited several eminent scientists to be speakers. I would like to thank Dr. Andrzej Michalski, who helped me to arrange section A. I have also prepared PDF file with the program and abstract of the conference. Uh, the five of us were cooperating much to make the dream revive band level hypercomplex come true. And your valuable presence is the proof it happened. Take, taking into account the present pandemic situation in Poland, we have decided to organize the conference online. It seems to be an optimal choice at this moment. To this end, Polish Academy of Sciences shared us Zoom platform, which is very popular and easy to operate. To join the meeting, it is enough to click the link delivered to all the participants by email. Uh, during the talk, each speaker should share the window with his presentation and unmute the microphone. The listeners are kindly asked to mute their microphones and turn off video to avoid disturbing the speaker during his presentation and slow down data transfer. Please unmute the microphone only if somebody wants to give a question or a remark to the speaker after the presentation and under permission of the chairman. We hope that all will run smoothly. During each moment of the conference, two persons from our team will be assisting you and caring for the signal. In the case of any problems, please contact them via conference email or by chat. I wish all the participants interesting presentations, fruitful discussions and catching uh, many new ideas. So that is all from me. Now I would like to ask Professor Zubert to provide you more information on the conference, in particular publishing matters. 
So good morning. Uh, we want to thank all the institutions that support our work. First of all, we thank the Senate of the Republic of Poland, represented today by Professor Józef Zajons, who will be the first to speak at the op opening ceremony. We would like to give thanks to the Institute of Mathematics of Polish Academy of Science, especially for providing the software and conference support. We are also su supported by John Paul II, Catholic University of Lublin, the State School of Higher Education in Helm, Łódź University of Technology, including the MCS and Faculty of Electrical, Electronics, Computer and Control Engineer Engineering, uh, which provides the IT infrastructure support for this, we want thanks to. Would, uh, we would also like to thank the Faculty of Computer Science and Telecommunication at the Krakow University of Technology, Department of Solid State uh, Physics in Faculty of Physics and Applet Applied Informatics at the University of Łódź and additional quantum hardware systems. Additionally, we would like to express special thanks to our honorary organizers, represented by the Łódź Scientific Society, uh, directed by Professor Antoni Ruzalski, and Department of Solid State Physics in Faculty of Physics and Applied Informatics at University of Łódź, directed by Professor Paweł Kowalczyk. Uh, for full support, support for conference and publication support. During the four days, we will enjoy listening for, uh, to great lectures in four scientific disciplines and hopefully sharing intellectual scientific thoughts. We hope that uh, we will be fulfilled, that fulfilled uh, Professor Juran Wawrinovich ideas and wish to mutual exchange between people representing various branches of science. Uh, the topics presented during the seminar can be published in the bulletin of Professor Juran Wawrinovich in the electronic version, and a selection of articles will be appear in a paper form. There is also possibility, possibility to publish the technical transaction journal and quantum reports in uh, and in and quantum reports journal. We would like to introduce our today's admin, Dr. Małgorzata Nowak, who together with Dr. Andrzej Michalski will care for the signal. And later we are giving the floor to Professor Józef Zajons, Senator of Republic of Poland. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Małgorzata Nowak. Thank you very much for announcing me. So I am today's admin together with uh, Dr. Andrzej Michalski. So we'll be caring for the signal, we'll be caring for you. If anything goes wrong, pre please write to the conference email or write us on the chat, contact us whichever way possible. Okay, we'll try to solve any problems. We hope there will be no problems because the software is quite uh, intuitive. Uh, let me just remind you that four buttons are essential here. So first button in the menu, which you will find on the bottom of your Zoom page. If you go with the mouse to the bottom, you will see some button, buttons. So the first button is the most important, the uh, microphone uh, on and off, you click it or on or off, then video on and off. Please may, make them um, inactive all the time especially if you are not speaker. If you're a speaker, then you have to, you must have your mic on and your video on, okay? Next button is participants. If you, um, if you open, if you click this, you will see the list of participants at the moment. You will find me and, and, and Andrew. We are called admin, <laughs> admin, so you can, uh, uh, write something or you can find it anyway. Uh, next thing is, uh, and the fourth very important uh, button is share screen. This is green button, the very, very important thing. You will be using it when giving your talk. Then if you click it, we will see your, um, your desktop or the document which you choose. Uh -huh. And 
At the very last is you can raise your hand if you want to say something, especially during the discussion. You will find it in uh, in the reaction button. If, if not everything is visible, then probably it is visible in the three dots which say more, okay? So that's all. I, I hope we won't be needed here. Now I would like to uh, ask Professor Józef Zając, the Senator of Republic of Poland, to officially open our conference. Thank you. First, my couple words uh, is to check out if, if everything works okay and you can hear me. Is it okay? Yes. Yes, we can uh, hear you. See. Hello to everybody who participates in this. Uh, very important, especially to me, conference. I'm very glad uh, I was invited uh, by Professor Partika to uh, say a couple of words about Professor Julian Wawrinovich. Well, uh, in this case, uh, to say a couple of words. Uh, so, uh, those who know, who used to know Professor Wawrinovich, know very well uh, that couple of words means almost nothing. But, uh, however, I should ad adopt myself to the situation and have, uh, say, uh, five or six points, uh, such as special occasions uh, that I had uh, in relation with Professor Wawrinovich. So first uh, is entitled the first meeting. At that time, I used to be student of fifth year of university studying mathematics at the UMCS in Lublin and uh, uh, writing my dissertation or, or a special paper uh, under direction of Professor uh, Jan Krzysz. And when everything was ready, it was beginning of May, a uh, professor asked me uh, that because I have uh, a very good uh, position on a list of good students, uh, so maybe I am interested to continue my study at uh, the doctoral study of Polish Academy at Mathematical Institute in Warsaw. Well, uh, I was uh, surprised at the beginning, why me? <laughs> but uh, if someone uh, suggests something like this, and it was Professor uh, Krzysz, uh, then I says yes. And he told me that uh, uh, in a couple of days, Professor Wawrinovich uh, is coming uh, to Lublin uh, because uh, they have a uh, common work uh, preparing a book concerning quasi-conformal mappings, parametrical methods, and uh, Professor Wawrinovich will spend two or three days in Lublin uh, working together. And he suggests that a certain day, I remember the time, it was 10 o'clock in the morning, I should wait on the second floor of uh, uh, Matt building uh, at UMCS. Then I came and uh, staying over there, I was waiting. Who will be the guy uh, named? Uh, I heard from a couple of people that this is a very special uh, guy who uh, is not only a mathematician, he's also a physicist. Uh, also a geologist uh, or something else. Uh, he was interested in biology also. Uh, then waiting, I noticed that a, a guy, maybe is Professor Wawrinovich is coming up, is stepping up on the second floor. Uh, he looked down. Uh, at, at a certain moment, uh, he looked around and the guy was waiting for him. Uh, then I told him 
good morning. So, oh, wait, please, a couple minutes here. I agree with Professor. When we may have a meeting and talk a little bit to learn if you are interested in my proposition. Well, after a couple of minutes, I was invited to the room of Professor Krzysz, and then they started to investigate me. What I know about quasi-conformal metrics. No, I must say that uh, it was so-so because the questions were very special uh, that usually uh, when a student is coming uh, to a professor to give a test uh, or uh, exam, uh, usually such a questions uh, are not asked. Uh, he asked me in the sense if I understand what is going on with quasi-conformality. But no one worked of, over there in Lublin uh, at this field. Uh, I, I started my uh, master thesis uh, concerning definition, equivalent definition of quasi-conformal mappings. So say uh, some kind of beginning knowledge in this uh, area. Then after uh, maybe uh, not uh, uh, one hour or something like 40 minutes, uh, they says to me, thank you, uh, please wait. Uh, after the, a, a quarter, we will ask you back and tell you uh, if in our opinion, uh, you may be a student of doctoral study uh, at, at the Mm, a special place, Professor Wawrinowicz uh, was a chairman uh, at Polish Academy. Uh, so after the quarter, uh, I was asked back and they says me, yeah, uh, they may uh, suggest that I should uh, send some applications to uh, the Mathematical Institute of Polish Academy uh, to Warsaw and try to uh, enter the examination. So uh, what about examination? There will be uh, some another story uh, because uh, the examination I passed as a one in the, in the group with uh, Mark five. And Professor Wawrinowicz, when he communicated me that I am accepted as, as a, his student on doctoral study, uh, then I was a little bit uh, surprised. But uh, it happened that right after, uh, he suggested me uh, that I should uh, apply uh, to be a member of co conference on analytic functions uh, in uh, San Caterina uh, mountains, uh, where, where he is the main organizer of the conference. So I did it, and he told me that over there I will find a couple of minutes. So I will suggest you what a title and what a subject of your study, of your research uh, uh, as a doctoral. A thesis uh, will be in the future. Then I entered conference and uh, met, uh, say, the highest in the sense of science group of Polish mathematicians uh, who used to work in complex analysis. Several people from uh, another country. I remember um, that uh, there was Professor Strebel from Switzerland, also Professor Reich from United States. And right after coming, uh, Professor uh, Wawrinowicz told me, 
Oh, well, please uh, take care of those two guys, I mean, Strebel and Reich, because you, your uh, job, your research will be a sort of continuation what they uh, were doing uh, last year, and uh, they uh, did not finish the job. Uh, there are some suggestions what to do, I will tell you, and that will be uh, your mm, problem, main problem as a, mm, a doctoral thesis. Well, say, that was like a jumping to deep water. <laughs> Uh, the mm, very famous professors from abroad uh, if, if used to work in this area. Uh, they could not solve some problems. And uh, suddenly, <laughs> Professor Wawrinovich is saying to me, it will be your, the topic of your uh, study. And it happened. So must say that uh, uh, when I came to Łódź, uh, where was the, the, our branch of the Mathematical Institute of Polish Academy of Science. And then we started first uh, with participation of uh, the very famous in Łódź seminar of Professor Harzyński. Uh, the special thing at the seminar it was like that, that uh, it, this seminar gathered uh, all mathematicians, active mathematicians in which if someone did not come to the seminar, so Professor Harzyński uh, immediately asked uh, one of assistants uh, that he should go to uh, this, the guy who did not come and check, maybe he is sick. So <laughs> all people were coming <laughs> to participate at those seminars. And must say that especially the, um, Professor Harzyński uh, was a, a special man of uh, the group of mathematicians in which uh, asking also us uh, what kind of problems we have, uh, how we uh, feel being in Łódź and so on. It was something uh, very domestic, very familiar. And uh, until now, uh, I have very good memory of the seminar. Uh, so uh, after maybe a couple months, I started to understand a little bit what Professor Wawrinovich mean uh, giving me the problem to solve. <laughs> However, he says that uh, he one, one, at one moment he told me something like that. Well, you know, it's not uh, something special. Uh, some kind of uh, uh, average student uh, should solve it uh, maybe during half year or one year, something like that. But after half year, I knew almost nothing <laughs> what he <laughs> suggested me to do. But uh, slowly, slowly reading some publications, uh, I could state to myself uh, the topic that he suggested to me. <laughs> uh, then after one year, maybe, uh, one and a couple months more, uh, I found what's going on over there. Uh, the first uh, suggestion from me, it was that uh, to reduce, we shall reduce the problem to some kind of extremal quasi-conformal mappings, not considering whole the class, because uh, studying all the class in uh, was a special uh, problem uh, for me, uh, not the disk, but annulus, uh, it will be uh, necessary to solve uh, the problem for 
extramural quasi-conformal mappings called Teichmiller mappings. Uh, Teichmiller mappings, uh, they have a special form uh, as a uh, composition of conformal, a fine mapping, and another conformal uh, mapping. No, well, and uh, it happened uh, that uh, I found what is going on with the inner radius of uh, uh, under uh, mapping a given annulus onto another annulus with uh, the inner radius, uh, outer radius uh, equal one, uh, but it's going on with uh, inside on the inner, inner circle. Then uh, I found first estimations uh, that uh, the radius uh, should be estimated uh, from both sides, but uh, by a given uh, expressions. And also the angle should be estimated uh, by, um, in a certain sense. And it appears that those extremal uh, Teichmüller mappings have this property that each point on, on the inner circle uh, may rotate of a given angle, the same at every place. I mean, at every point at the inner circle. That was uh, some kind of uh, interesting result. And Professor Wawrinovich told me that he uh, some kind of result like that. Well, so after when I completed my doctoral thesis, uh, I uh, uh, lost only one year uh, between uh, the end of doctoral study. Uh, so I needed one more year to uh, uh, apply for the doctoral uh, at Polish Academy. And uh, it appears that uh, results like to a couple of people. Uh, also, important thing was that uh, I met at that time a professor Kazimierz Kuratowski, one of those four uh, main giants from Lvov. And Professor Wawrinowicz uh, suggested to me uh, uh, for a, the doctoral examination, uh, who was a chairman of my doctoral thesis, uh, who, who is always making the examination in a special way. And my doctoral examination was in a simple uh, restaurant in Warsaw, just across uh, the Institute of Polish Academy of Science. So what it was after. Uh, but however, maybe I will come back of uh, two years. Uh, being on a third year of doctoral study, we shall be in which It was not like that, that we may stay home, and we are students of doctoral study. We shall be in which being almost at the uh, rooms of uh, Institute of Mathematics, Polish Academy of Science, the branch in which. But my doctoral was ready. Uh, and one day, a professor says to me that, oh, in one uh, high school in Łódź, uh, they are looking uh, for a math teacher. But he didn't tell me uh, that he was a, uh, he was a um, schoolboy of this uh, high school. It was Liceum imienia Żeromskiego in Łódź. 
then I apply over there and working for one year, uh, I met several people who Professor Wawrynowicz as a, a schoolboy at this liceum. And they told me a lot of interesting stories how uh, Julian uh, was the uh, schoolboy. Uh, so uh, probably I will put those stories in a book I'm preparing at this point concerning uh, also that time that I spent in Łódź. Um, I think those stories will be quite interesting. So what happened after? A very special uh, thing related with Professor Wawrynowicz and also that he suggested that our education should go in this way. Uh, it was a, a thing related with uh, our knowledge on foreign languages. He told to us, if you will be speaking, but be understandable only in English, German, Russian. He spoke very good Russian also. Then the world will be open for you. And he was the first in a Polish academy who uh, opened several foreign connections uh, with foreign scientists, uh, starting with Italy, Finland, uh, Germany, England, uh, then after Japan. Uh, I remember that Professor Osamu Suzuki is listening to me. So hello to Osamu. Uh, Osamu, hello. <laughs> Osamu was, uh, was the special case uh, that uh, represents this kind of uh, active politic of Professor Wawrynowicz uh, to arrange collaborations in the uh, whole world with people who like work, who have knowledge, uh, who have ability also uh, to do something. Uh, the another country, so of very far from Poland, it was Mexico. Uh, I would like to say hello to Lino residents, because uh, thanks to Professor Wawrynowicz, I oh. met uh, Lino. Hi, Lino. Hi. Hi. Thanks a lot for the information. And uh, we have very fruitful uh, collaboration with uh, Elino Resendis, several publications concerning quasi-conformal mappings, and also uh, the problem of boundary values of quasi-conformal. Uh, that was my main object of uh, research. Uh, then in such a case, such a cases, uh, examples, how Professor Wawrynowicz worked. He always was in town, uh, traveling, uh, traveling uh, to another country. Also, he visited several times uh, Greece, uh, then uh, Turkey, then uh, Egypt. I think that uh, probably I cannot uh, make the list even of those countries that he visited. But with uh, uh, mathematicians from those countries, always he uh, published paper, make research and publish paper. Uh, that was because his uh, very high ability, uh, what about using different languages. I remember such a case when coming back uh, from uh, a visit uh, in Mexico, uh, where we worked with Lino Resendiz, and being uh, just uh, in Paris uh, on the mm, 
uh, changing uh, airplane, that suddenly I see Professor Wawrinovich is walking. So <laughs> I came to him and asked, where from and where to? <laughs> and then he told me that he came from uh, Mexico, but is going uh, directly uh, to Kazakhstan, if I remember. <laughs> and then uh, really his uh, scientific house, scientific work was whole world. So we were really first in Polish Academy who <laughs> spent most time at that time, of course, uh, traveling, 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 traveling. Must say that I have very good memory from that time. And uh, uh, Professor Wabrinovich uh, helped me several times uh, to get some connections, for instance, uh, with mathematicians from Mexico, especially uh, Professor Lino Resendis. Uh, our relation was initiated by Professor Wawrinovich. So coming to the end, uh, after uh, such a, a very rich uh, uh, and a lot of visit time, uh, I decided a little bit stay home because being all the time uh, with a suitcase <laughs> only and looking if to if tomorrow I uh, I can go someplace not country or maybe to another place uh, that was uh, not so uh, convenient. Uh, then when I decided to uh, stay uh, a little bit more in uh, Poland, uh, then. If after working for a couple of years at the Catholic University, where uh, I arranged mathematics, uh, then uh, I decided to uh, build up right from the beginning a new school. And what happened? It happened something uh, very unusual. Uh, no one started a new university or uh, technical school uh, as we did uh, with mathematics. And Professor Wawrinovich, when I phoned to him and uh, told him uh, that uh, it will be mathematics as a first the faculty that uh, will open a new university in Helm. And must say that he was not surprised completely. He says that this is good design. And at the, at the first uh, uh, opening ceremony of uh, first academic year, uh, Professor Wawrinovich came to us and when he only could, he always participate in uh, uh, our opening ceremony uh, at uh, our new university and must say that uh, two or three years, that was last of his visit when he was not in good conditions, health conditions, but he came to us. And I must say that uh, until today, I'm very grateful to this unusual man uh, that he uh, accompanied me uh, with all this huge job that we did over here in hell. Well, I think that uh, I should close for now, uh, but uh, also I should uh, tell uh, that uh, mm, I prepared now uh, first book that will be first volume, but at the second also uh, will be about Professor Wawrinovich. Uh, 
I have a lot of memories related with him. Uh, and those memories uh, are showing uh, that uh, this guy was from different point of view, very unusual. And if you could find uh, a connection to his mind, how he's thinking, uh, how he's uh, estimating different thinking in the life, you could get beautiful and fantastic information uh, from him uh, concerning uh, his opinion about a different study in mathematics, in physics, in biology, in chemistry, I don't know, maybe several other disciplines in mathematics. So I would like to close for now. Thank you very much. I'm very glad that I uh, could participate uh, in your conference right at the beginning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful introduction, Senator Zions. We are very happy that you found time. This is the national holiday of Poland. So it's we are really lucky to have you between us. You have a yes. right, right after I, I shall go. <laughs> okay. Thank you once again. And I would like now um, to ask Professor Antoni Ruzalski to say a couple of words from your part. Uh, hello, good morning. My name is Antonio Rosalski. I am a head of the Łódź Scientific Society. And I would like to uh, say some words concerning uh, Professor Wawrinovich activity uh, in this uh, society. Thanks uh, the organizers to give me opportunity to say, uh, say some words about uh, this. Uh, really, Professor Julian Wawrydowicz uh, played a significant uh, role in the life of the scientific community in Łódź. From uh, 1970, he was a member of uh, Łódź Scientific Society. This is an organization associating researchers, uh, artists from various uh, fields of the science and art, from uh, humanities to uh, natural, medical, and technical sciences. He was an exceptional uh, person, in my opinion, person who could wonderfully combine the duties of the scientists with uh, activities for the benefits of the academic environment in which uh, he lived and worked. He represented the field of exact sciences, but he was also a humanist in the broad sense of this word. To say uh, about Professor Wawrinovich that he was one of the members of the Uchi Scientific Society is not enough. He lived the affairs of this institution and he was absorbed by them very much. Until the end of his, of his life, he participated in the meetings of the board of the Wood Scientific Society and in all events organized by this society. He took part in discussions, shared his rich experience and spoke with great concern about the importance of science and the role of the scientific and culture creating community in Łódź. Professor Julian Warwinowicz performed a number of uh, organizational functions in which uh, scientific society from 1982 he was a uh, he was the chairman of the mathematics and physics commission at the faculty of mathematics and natural sciences of the which scientific society he was the editor in chief of the bulletin the journal published by the publishing house of the a lot scientific society. Our society has encrusted Professor Wawrinovich with many important uh, functions, organizational functions. He was the society's secretary general in the period of 1983, 1996, and uh, since 1996 till 
2008, he was the deputy secretary general of the Wood Scientific Society. Later from 2009, he was a member of the Society Audit Committee. The Wood Scientific Society appreciated the professor's scientific work and his activities, as well as his effort efforts to integrate which academic community, distinguishing him uh, in 1988 with the which Scientific Society Scientific Award, in uh, 2007 with the Society Medal, and in 2012 by awarding him the title of honorary member. I would like to say that we will remember Professor Julian Wawrinovich for being an active organizer on our society. We are grateful for his work and devotion to the Wood Scientific Society. We are full of appreciation for his knowledge and scientific passion, including his life attitude. We remember his significant contributions to the development of the scientific community in Wood. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Ruzalski. And here between us is Professor Maria Wawrinovich, a unique person, um, wife of Professor uh, Julian Wawrinovich, a person absolutely out outstanding and great companion. I have, I ha I am so lucky to have known uh, both of them for many years. I have cooperated with Professor Wawrinovich. I was his doctorand, and uh, Professor Maria Wawrinovich was always very, very supportive and very open-hearted to whatever was happening. She was there by the side of Professor Wawrinovich, and she was also very supportive for, for me and I believe for many who were in the circle uh, of cooperators. So um, I'm very happy to say hello. Uh, Professor Ravrinovich, could you please say a couple of words from your part? And colleagues and friends, especially participants of Bend Level Conference, and uh, some of uh, participants are um, known for us and uh, we have contact with them for, since many years. I concentrate myself on the last uh, uh, days of uh, Julian's uh, life uh, and also uh, about his uh, con activity in preparing con conferences in band level, but uh, from family side. Uh, because uh, this conference uh, was expected to be the very important, at least my husband was very, um, uh, wanted very much to celebrate <coughs> as a 20th uh, conference uh, in Seri of uh, Bend Levo. And each year when conference was prepared, so already in autumn uh, last uh, year was the plan and also was included in wishes, his wishes for the new year to help him and he expected family help in transport. There were two boys who were, should be ready at that time and sometimes uh, it was uh, um, very nice that many colleagues were ready to, to take him to Bend Levo and because he took with him a lot of books, a lot of things, a lot of his belongings uh, because uh, he would want it always be uh, independent. Therefore, his famous bag 
uh, was till now is remembered uh, in our society uh, um, by Crow because he took with him uh, uh, even sometimes books, but many things which for any case is better to have to eat on. And uh, sometimes somebody wanted to help him, especially in last years of his life. But suddenly, oh, how heavy it is. And you always take these things with you or no? Before I had this all in my head. And he was also working uh, in not stopping, non-stop uh, traveling in tram, but also uh, traveling in uh, trail, train, but also in tram. For him, 10 minutes, it was good to notice some ideas, to solve some problems and so on. It was known. And sometimes we were, and time was very strictly planned. And when he uh, prepared plan, it, he was very flexible. Oh, this day, oh, this day, oh, this first, this uh, secondly. But if it is, was fixed, it was impossible to change because the connected people already had also this schedule and was uh, impossible to change for him. Uh, so it was his specificity. And uh, Professor uh, Zion's uh, picture has said about his adventures, but I remember uh, one telephone I got from Professor Zions that my husband, by the way, from uh, Sofia, is now in home in Oyam because he was taken by uh, medical service directly from train. And really, he was, and the doctor said, uh, where are you coming from? From Sofia. Uh, where is this Sofia? Well, you don't know. In Bulgaria. And uh, when I went to him, uh, to Lublin to meet him, he was on his own uh, uh, suggestion, uh, went out of the uh, hospital and was sitting among invited persons on the uh, uh, in, uh, inauguration of academic year and was <laughs> invited by Professor Zions. And then I noticed that he is in boots, which he take always with him when going swimming such right uh, because he was very tired but the plan was this thing he was not uh, so this is uh, my husband and another thing what uh, we uh, appreciated very much that he was very accurate and um, friend he had friends from uh, school of uh, from, from secondary school. Such example was Professor Wojczak. And the day till last days of possibility, he visited uh, him uh, in last days. It was uh, Professor uh, not attended uh, already uh, uh, university. So um, they uh, had meeting at uh, home. So um, Saturday, 10 uh, in the morning, was the time of meeting. And were absolutely respective priority for this meeting. It had, had, had some, uh, was uh, seminars just uh, 
to prepare some papers to, to be published, but also seminars with students. And he, yeah, and, uh, he was used also when invited person from abroad in times where it was not so easy to go out for us. So uh, also organized, used this seminar time to present uh, new ideas, to show what is possible to do in power, uh, in watch and so on. And uh, he's uh, very uh, appreciate uh, participation was in a large society. Uh, the scientific society, Professor Rozalski told about Julian and he, uh, his, uh, in his, uh, he was a member uh, during uh, more than 50 years uh, uh, of the society and uh, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, was the opinion that such society, regional society, having uh, representatives from different uh, uh, sectors of sciences is a kind of some elixir of, of uh, knowledge uh, just uh, in very good uh, form presented and he attended all, uh, not only the uh, regular uh, uh, meeting, but also some, in some specialties, medical and also from arts. He was interested in many, uh, uh, many uh, uh, aspects. But now coming back to the conference in Bend Levo. So I, this conference had a very long story. It was at first plan in 2019, then uh, postponed to 2020. And finally, it, uh, is, we are here uh, just attending conference. And I would like in the in name of our family to thank to everybody who has a contribution to organizing, even to invention of this conference to continue uh, this kind of uh, events. Uh, so uh, I would like to uh, appreciate very much all efforts uh, with preparation and with presenting book of abstract uh, and so rich program. Well, how did you organize so many speakers? So it is for us, we admire this great work and especially um, this uh, engaging in this uh, activity. Uh, recently, we uh, segregated uh, at home uh, belongings uh, of uh, Julian, uh, Julian's belonging, which came from hospital. So he had a kind of cabinet there. He was working and he was contacting by telephone different person also towards this conference. So I hope he is very happy now that, it, that this conference is succeeded, that we are here and looking on his face, we can say, oh, you see, you could be proud that the group is working fantastically. Uh, so, <clears throat> and uh, he uh, preparing this conference also was thinking 
about elegance, about continuation, some uh, subjects, but also uh, about introducing some ideas and from the practical point of view about the publishing in bulletin who uh, he was uh, redactor to the last moment on his life. So his life, uh, he left this world living Ben Glevo in hospital. And uh, so I would like uh, in the name family to uh, express our gratitude for this uh, great enterprise to realize his idea. I think he is without us and is wishing you also uh, from also sincerely uh, health, happiness, and new scientific achievements. And uh, all of you also happiness in uh, private life and family life. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Wawrinovich. Thank you very much for your very kind words. We hope that you will stay with us, not only now, but also uh, during the next editions of the Bendleva Conference. We hope so to have you by with us always. And now the full yes, power I goes to- I was very, uh, very surprised and very nice surprise that you remembered me <laughs> from the level, so invited me to this conference. How couldn't we, how could we not remember you? Okay, thank you very much once again. And now the full power goes to the chairman, the chairman Dariusz Partyka and Mariusz Zubert and the session A1 begins.